Hello everyone, it's your boy CDES back again, and we're here with another YouTube news video, and some major stuff happened just within the past couple of hours from the last video. Jake Paul has landed himself into a lot of trouble here, and it's a really big thing. Uh, so without further ado, let's just dive straight in. Now, as many of you know, Jake Paul has been in a lot of controversy because he actually attended a riot over in Scottsdale, Arizona, and at the riot, they actually looted a P.F. Chang's, and they also broke into a mall and looted some of the shops in there. Now, Jake was a part of this actual riot, like he was following them around, and he, quote, was just filming it, but there was a scene where he actually took a vodka bottle from someone who broke into the P.F. Chang's. Now, Jake made a response video to all of this, and he claimed that he has the right to film this sort of stuff because he wants this stuff to be seen and he claimed that he didn't loot himself. Now Logan Paul actually talked about this on his podcast and he gave his own thoughts on this. Here's the clip. As we know he was seen um, at, at, at a looting site apparently he was in Arizona and uh, I, to be honest this one is so this one is so hard for me because I love the kid. Sometimes I do not understand why he does the things he does, as I'm sure it's, he feels the same way about me from time to time. Why he was inside of a mall that was being looted, I have no idea. While I condemn the fact that he was at a looting site and stuck around long enough for videos to be taken where it looked like he was kind of just hanging out, <sighs> you are a moron if you think my brother was actively participating in looting. And again, I'll say this, I do not agree with him being there. I don't know why he, the he was there yeah. if your last name is paul and if you're it, even if even if your last name isn't paul and there's looting and rioting and violence and, and crimes taking place remove yourself from the situation and yeah logan paul believes that jake shouldn't have been there but he also believes that he didn't loot at all now the biggest thing that came out just recently was the actual fact that jake paul apparently is being charged here by the Scottsdale police. Fox 10 Phoenix tweeted out saying, breaking, police say YouTuber Jake Paul has been charged with criminal trespass and unlawful assembly in connection to riots at Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall on May 30th. And then in the actual Fox article, they actually go a little bit more in depth on the situation. They say, Scottsdale police confirmed that Paul was present after the scene was declared an unlawful assembly. Because Paul unlawfully entered and remained inside of the mall when it was closed, police say he is now facing charges of criminal trespass and unlawful assembly, which are both misdemeanors. Now when this came out, a lot of YouTubers, of course, spoke on the situation. Keemstar tweeted out saying, Jake Paul is guilty, facing up to one year in jail, give him the year. Another smaller YouTuber by the name of Amanda the Jedi also tweeted out saying, wow, who could have foreseen this? And of course, KSI, the person that Jake is supposed to box or was supposed to box, also responded just by putting a crap ton of laughing emojis. Now, a couple hours after this came out, Jake himself, of course, responded to this, but he said something a little strange here. He says, give me the charges and let's put the focus back on George Floyd and Black Lives Matter. Now, it's weird that Jake would say this, seeing as he claimed that he did not vandalize anything and he did not loot anything. If he's saying that he wants to be charged, then you're basically claiming that you did indeed do those unlawful acts. So I don't quite understand this, but I don't know. Now the content creator is a day who was also present at the Scottsdale mall riot also went on Instagram and he just made a post of him holding up a sign saying charge me too," basically calling the Scottsdale police to also charge him and also Jake Paul. And then he wrote and captioned, if running from cops shooting tear gas at us with no orders is a crime, then charge me too. But moving away from the Jake Paul situation, our second story comes from the YouTuber Net Nobody. If you don't know who he is, you might know him as Sky Does Minecraft or Sky Did Minecraft or whatever his name is now. But he is a rapper now and apparently he got blocked by Keemstar over on Twitter. And he said, it truly is the end of days. And then he shows that Keemstar indeed did block him. 
Now, when some of Net Nobody's fans saw this, they asked why exactly he got blocked, and Net Nobody says, I don't know, lol. Instead of speaking to me, he blocked me. It's fine, though. I'm just going to keep doing me. But then later on, he actually said that apparently Keemstar said that he blocked him because he spammed him too much. And he says that that was, quote, reasonable. Now, our next story of today comes from the content creator, FaZe Rain. If you don't know who he is, he was a member of FaZe, but he recently got kicked out of FaZe. Now, a lot of people didn't know why Rain exactly got kicked out of FaZe, because neither him nor Banks himself would actually speak on the subject to the general public. But recently over Twitter, only around like five hours ago as of recording this video, Rain tweeted out saying, FaZe is treating me so effing unfair. After everything I did for you, after letting you not pay me back for five years and letting it slide, F you. I've never been effed over harder. Never. Then someone replies by saying, WTF, I would have thought they would be helping you during a time like this. Rain responds here by saying, helping, they're leaving me on the street. Don't give an F where I am or stay. Then Banks actually responds here by saying, that isn't effing true, Norden. We've offered you help numerous times. We've explored so many different options to help you solve your problem. You have to shut them all down. Then Rain replies by saying, I'm not going to a facility I've told you a million times. You know exactly why we share the same reason. I came back to LA to try and be happy with you guys, and this is what happens. Then Banks replies by saying, Everyone in the house has suggested getting you in an apartment with a private nurse and a sober buddy and help you beat this thing, and you have said no. We've explored every option and continue to. To drag your friends after everything that's happened is unfair and not the truth. Then, once again, Rain replies here by saying, That's what I suggested to Lee. I was told to go to a 30-day rehab facility, acting like I'm a drug addict, and can't control myself. This isn't against the members, especially not you. I just posted a tweet about you two days ago to emphasize that to everyone. Now Banks replies with one more tweet here saying, oh, that's what you suggested? Okay, effing yes. Let's make it happen then. We all love you and truly care about you. All of this has scared the crap out of us. You're down for all that. Let's make it happen today. So it sounds like here that Rain had some sort of drug addiction. Now they don't say exactly what drug it was, but they're saying that apparently he was having issues. Now apparently it seems like it wasn't so severe because they're trying to not get him into some sort of rehab facility. So he may be doing a little bit better, but he wants to definitely overcome this. I honestly really hope that Rain can bounce back from this all because suffering from drug addiction can be hard and it is a long and lengthy process, and I hope that he's able to fight through it, though. But with that being said, that's about going to do it for this news video of today. If you guys did like it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Comment down below letting me know what you guys think of these topics of today. As well as that, make sure that you go and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, so you don't miss a new upload like this. As well as that, if you're new around here, make sure to check out the other series on my channel. I have a series on my channel called The Downfall Series where I took a look at creators that aren't as popular anymore or are defunct and where they are now. And I have another series on my channel called The Rise Series where I take a look at popular YouTubers and how they got to the point where they're at now. If any of those series sound interesting to you, make sure that you check them out by clicking any of the boxes beside me right now. But with that being said, I've been C-Dusk. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.